Fort Wayne has an interesting history because, in essence, of where it was located, because of the, the, the three rivers that merged here. Actually, what it was is two rivers, the St. Joseph and St. Mary's, were very close to the Little Miami River that went on then south to the Saint, uh, Mississippi. And there was a, a, a portage where they could go from one river to the next and get you know, a land bridge, if you will, between those two uh, highways of the time. So that's why, in a sense, Fort Wayne became uh, quite, quite an important area in prehistoric times as well as, well as historic times. Fort Wayne uh, uh, has been called a canal town. It was the summit city, which means it was the high point in, in this area. The, the canal uh, was started in the 1830s, obviously, to, to uh, increase access to markets to the east as well as uh, help move people into the area as well. The canals weren't very large, I mean wide, they were 25, 30 feet wide. They were long boats, th uh, 30 to 40 feet in some cases, which transported people, but also their major function was to transport produce, grains, uh, and goods from place to place. You could go maybe three or four miles an hour being towed along a towpath alongside the, 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 the waterway was a path where a mule or horses would pull the, the boat along at a slow pace. And so was the canal a success? Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. But it didn't last very long because it, it opened in 1843 here. They had a big celebration. Ten years later, they were already beginning to raise funds, buy land, acquire equipment to build railroads. And by the late 1850s, there was already lines uh, being built from, from Pennsylvania uh, to uh, Fort Wayne. Now, the canals did survive because they could they could carry a huge amount of weight, especially grains and, and those kinds of things, and it was cheaper than to carry it on a rail system. So they did survive up to about the 18, about 18, the 1870s. But after that, uh, people, I mean, most people would rather get to someplace quicker than right. sooner rather than later, of as course. they say these days. <laughs> so this, if you can see this depression here, is all that remains of the old canal in Fort Wayne. We're about seven miles outside of Fort Wayne right now um, in a town called Roanoke, Roanoke, Indiana. And and this is it, like now it's, it's a field, but you know, 150 years ago, this was a canal. You can see it wasn't very wide. I'm sure it's been grown in, but um, this is all there is to it.